So just a, a note as I'm editing this video. This video started off as a project to go from palette to project and show just what can be done with free material if you're willing to put in the work to you know, get it ready to use. And as luck would have it, I'm a little late in shifting to my outdoor spring summer projects and YouTube fed up a video by Matthew Peach and he was doing a $6 planter. So I reached out to him and I'm going to, I'm going to link that video here. It's, it's really a good video on showing what can be done with very little money. Uh, this is taking it one step further in free lumber if you're willing to put in the labor. And no, labor is not free, but sometimes we can have more time than, than money. And this is it. If you can get pallets for free and you're willing to, to take them apart, we're going to take some of this pallet wood, go through his steps, make a planter, it will probably be a little different. It'll have a little spin to it, but for the most part, it's going to be following his start with very little and end up with something that's usable and looks pretty good. Um, just wanted to put that out there. I did reach out to him and he said it was fine to, to reference back to his video. And I, I highly encourage you, if you're not subscribed to him, which I think you should be by now, uh, he's, he's well worth the follow. He, he's down to earth and, and takes you through step by step. Well, with that said, go ahead and go on with the video. All right. In this video, we're going to take a couple of pallets that were being given away. I'm going to show you how I break them down. Uh, while the material will end up being free as far as the material cost, there will be labor in getting it ready to use, but I'm going to actually take these two pallets, break them down, and do videos through the, this breakdown, getting them ready to use, and then actually using them in a couple of projects to show that they don't have to look like pallet wood or, or give that rustic feel when they get done. I'll probably do one outdoor project still keeping some of that rustic feel probably do one indoor project so you won't get a full pallet's worth of wood out of it but you can get most of it all depends on how you want to go about it i do want to point out this ht on this pallet it stands for heat treat there are two ways they use to treat pallets for insects one's heat treat and the other is a chemical uh, chemical is labeled MB, and I either won't accept those or I'll trash them immediately. Heat treat, I can use for pretty much anything. If there's a piece of wood that I can't use out of the pallet, I can burn it with no problem. But you do want to pay attention when you're dealing with pallets as to this HT or MB designation. When it comes to getting wood off the pallets, you can use saws any kind of saw really to cut down each side of the supports you'll end up with shorter boards that won't have the nail holes it all depends on how much usable wood you want to get out of it now, this video is not about cutting the short boards off so we won't be using any of these saws not even the circular saw uh, if you have a crowbar or hammer or something, you can use those. It'll take a bit more effort and it will destroy a little bit more wood here around nail holes. But you can find ways to pry on it. If you're only doing a few, this is a good way to go. It's just more work. Uh, if you're going to be doing many of them or you plan to or just want to be prepared, or you don't want to spend the actual effort with the other methods, the hammer, the crowbar, you can get a tool like this one 
It is specifically designed to take pallets apart. And this will, on a lot of pallets, pull the nails up through the supports. Again, it depends on the quality of the pallet you've got. But this has two feet that go on each side of a support. And you just pry up. It doesn't take much effort at all. This is a case where, for me, trading the dollars for a reduction in labor time and really effort was well worth it. And you can see this is real time. Just slide those two feet under each side of the support and pry back. Uh, the fewer boards you have on it, the harder it is to keep it stable, but it's still not too difficult. Amazingly enough, on this pallet, all the nails actually did come out with the boards I was pulling off, so there's none showing in the supports. It's not uncommon for nails to break off, but I got lucky on that one. The other one's built just like that one. A lot of them have two boards on the other side. Take them off the same way. These just don't have that. I can already tell this one's going to be a little bit of a pain. You can use pry bars, but if you've got access to a crowbar, make the way to the crowbar do the work a whole lot easier. So we went from one pallet with all the nails coming out the way you want. This one's already had some nails bust through the boards. The only thing left would be if a nail broke or a nail was left in the support and then in getting it out the head broke off.
got some nails sticking out, but they're not loose enough to come through, so we'll get them later. And there's the one with the nail head coming off. For these, I start off with lineman's pliers. You can pretty much use anything you want. If you want to go to the trouble of getting it out, this is free wood. Everything you get out is, is the labor you put in to make it work. Right here, this pallet officially became the problem child, and you'll get these from time to time. Not only did that support break, but if you look at the board, you can see that it's curved a little, warped a little, twisted a little. There comes a point where you can take your hammer, try to salvage what you can, If it's loose enough to come off, maybe you'll want to try and get a little bit more out of it. If I do this and it doesn't budge, I'm content with just tossing it. Like I said, it's, it's heat treated so I can burn it, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to salvage wood this bad. Just bend the nails over and move on. Now we deal with the nails that are left. Remember how I said problem child? No way I'm getting that one out. Like I said, first thing I try is lineman's pliers. If they work great, if not, there's one more thing I'll do before I just call it a wash. And there we go, broke the tip off of that one. So now I've still got metal down in that board. And one thing you don't want is metal hitting your tools. I found that I can use this and dig down into the wood a little bit. Whether you want to go to this much trouble or not, again, it's up to you. 
this will this will tear up the top of the wood but it'll get the metal out And there we go. And out of the two pallets, this is the piece that doesn't even make it to step two. Not bad, considering it was free. And that leaves us with this, the supports on the left. And here are the boards that were on top. All of them still need to be checked for nails and any other kind of metal, but not bad. All right, now that we have our pallets torn apart, next job is getting our nails out. And this is where I'll skip to after I've gotten all the nails out. That's all I'm going to be doing, going through board by board. Now, once you have all the nails that you can see out, we're going to get what I have is a little wizard two. It's a metal detector. Set it so that the beeping goes off. If you hover it over metal, it'll start going off. And for any pallet wood, any reclaimed lumber, really, run it down both sides. And the reason I suggest doing it on these boards is the nails that they put these together with are usually connected to each other by wire. It's a real small wire, but sometimes that wire will get jammed down in the hole when the nail goes in and you want to get it out. Like I said, it's not a, a big, big gauge, but you don't want any metal running across your blades when you go to cut it. Not so much an issue with these, because as you can see, most of the big pieces of metal. But on the supports, when you're taking them apart, sometimes you'll break off a nail or find nail nails broken down inside. This will help dig some of them out if you want, if you're willing to tear up the face. But even worse is if there's been a nail in here and it's been driven down before the pallet was built. So really inexpensive compared to blades and any uh, unsafe conditions you might have when your saw meets a nail. You can just run it right through. So all four sides. I only did two on the other boards because they were thin. But the thicker you go, this won't go all the way through, even from this side to this side. It'll go through at least halfway. See, it'll catch the metal on the bottom. But it won't catch it this way. So just make sure you use one of these. They're, they're cheap. If you're going to be doing anything with reclaimed lumber, especially pallets, this is a worthwhile investment, like I said, pretty cheap. But everything I've done, you could do with a hammer, hammer and a crowbar. If you're going to be doing any number at all, I will say this is a pallet buster specifically designed to take pallets apart. You saw how quickly it worked. It's got these pivoting feet on it to keep the pressure 
even. Very little work to get a pallet torn apart. And uh, it is it is another expense. But like I said, if you're going to be doing a lot of these, this will cut down the effort and the time taken to tear them apart. And what you're left with, once you get them torn apart, get all the nails out, you end up with lumber that isn't too far off from the stuff you might find at big box store. <laughs> okay, it's not quite that good. But, you know, reclaimed is a, is a buzzword nowadays. Upcycling, depending on where you're at, is also a buzzword. This is going to be both of them. We're going to take this wood and this wood alone, walk you through a couple of projects, and we'll see just how different we can make it look. Until next time.